Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001 and ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple who love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life-changing challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse we packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert, curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, I trust your judgement, if you think I'll like it, put in an offer. The offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of June 2021. Join us and our dogs, Merlo and Flora, as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. So now we've um, repaired the woodwork on the end of the building here. Um, next job I'm going to do is sand down all the uh, flaky paint. Um, once that's done, should be able to get some paint on there. Need to do something to that little triangle at the top, but uh, Claire's got a plan for that, so we'll see what that turns into. Well, it's just had a first coat and uh, I think it's starting to look good. Another coat, bit more cutting in and uh, as they say, jobs are good. Un. This week is going to mark a, a big week of painting, especially in the shutter shop. So to start with, I've got the two sets of downstairs panels from the Maison de Maitre. I've got one of the Louvre shutters that my dad Mike fixed and I've got the other one over here ready to go. I've got our front door shutters which are a case of finishing off and touching up with black from last week. And then I've got some door shutters from uh, on the side of the Maison de Maitre where the road is. And I thought, well, I really want to try and push to get all of the shutters finished on the Maison de Maitre this week. And this is kind of included in it. So I want to get it done. So uh, these are the ones from what I think I would call our kind of living room door. And then these are the ones for kind of the in-between door for the Maison de Maitre and our house where there's a lovely mural that's been painted years ago. Um, I want to try and get these ones done first um, because we really want to get these ones back up as quickly as possible just for more security purposes where the door's that thin um, and where it faces the road.
Well, first job of the day today is I'm going to put another coat of paint on the end of the laundry room here before the sun comes round. Um, it, the first coat I did gave it a pretty good covering, but it needs a second coat, and yeah, that's what I'm going to do. There you go, that took me a little time. But where it's tongue and groove, it's actually hard to get between the panels. You can see little bits of the white from the old paintwork there, but you can't get your brush in. Anyway, I've persevered, I've done it, and I think that's looking good. Quick little bricko trip this morning as I was running out of shutter paint. That could have all gone wrong. Just to give you an idea on the price of this, so each of the grey tins are two and a half litres each and they're 39.90. Back in the shutter shop this afternoon after the, uh, the Brico shop for more paint, um, I, was down to, I was down to just half a tin left. So it was a bit, ah, oh, this could be bad. I don't know, just been having a little workout of something. This is most of the paint for the shutters and doors and things that I've gone through so far. So there's 13 empty tins here, um, and then there's six tins here. Now, I've been thinking about how much paint we've gone through, and I think there could have been a couple of tins that I've thrown out from previous shutters, but we've gone through at least 800 euros worth of paint just doing shutters. Um, shutters, I think the occasional door, um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what the total amount of paint is that I've used just doing these shutters. It's worth it, because don't get me wrong, it does look absolutely fantastic up there. But yeah, it's, it's quite a lot of money really on paint, isn't it, when you think about it? Well, as you can see, I've uh, got the keys out. I've been tasked with finding a couple of keys for the two padlocks on the fence and gates by the road. And uh, yeah, at least there are, they are, well, one of them is a modern one. One of them looks old. So um, yeah, let's see if I can find it. So, <clears throat> this is a railing which faces onto Rue Principal. We've got the Maison de Maitre just behind me here. And this is a pedestrian gate, which we've not yet had open. Only been here a year, so there's no rush for this kind of thing, is there? Anyway, now that we've done the uh, <clears throat> metal work at the other side and the big gates, <clears throat> we'd like to get these cleaned up. Um, and get this side of the house looking pretty 
So uh, one of the jobs will be to get through this gate and hopefully this key will do it. <gasps> oh, there we go. Yay! Yay! So, um, <clears throat> let's see. Take that out. Wow, that. Well, that's the first time <laughs> we've had that gate opening. Um, we've got all this netting here, which was our first attempt at flora proofing this bit of fence. And Claire <coughs> subsequently went over with chicken wire because a little darling dog was able to jump up and get through the railings and run down the road after people, um, which isn't great. So um, Claire put up the chicken wire there. So I can get this green sort of uh, <laughs> mesh netting down in any case. I need to trim that bush right back. That's a little bit overgrown. And this is a, an old hedgerow that wasn't particularly attractive or useful that um, I'm going to try and dig out. Um, I was hoping that we would have had some rain by now to soften the soil. I might try a couple just to see how deep the roots are. If it comes to it then I might just have to um, cut them off at ground level and hope the roots die in the ground. But Claire would like to make this into a pretty hydrangea border with a nicely new painted fence. So step one is there. Right. In the shutter workshop this morning, I have finished one, two, two sets of doors for the Maison de Maitre. Um, I am now going to start on the uh, the Louvre shutters, the final pair of Louvre shutters, and I'm going to do a pair of the uh, downstairs flat shutters for the billiards room. It's due to be quite a scorcher today, so let's see how we get on. From there, this is the front garden, and there are a set of gates here. Now, compared to the ones that we just renovated at the back uh, these are much less ornate although actually they're quite pretty in their own right there's um, a sort of a, a design here which you can hardly make out but there's um, sort of vines on there um, and that's repeated at the top um, and a little thistle design I think it is or some flower up there anyway um, we have an old gate lock which has a key in it although I've turned it round and it doesn't seem to do anything the gates are actually held together by this more modern padlock which has had a hefty coat of boop um, and helpfully there is a name on the gate on the padlock um, Abus. So I've been through that pile of keys and found two keys which I have in my pocket, um, all with the same name on it. So I'm going to have a go. Can't really read that, but anyway, let's try. Let's try it in there. Away. straight away it's not turning um, are they two identical keys probably ah that's turning oh well so I think I might just need to soak the rest of the padlock in a bit more of the magic formula and because uh, if that's turning that should pop up it's probably a bit of rust in there so i'm going to soak it and come back to this in a little while and see if i can get that to pop open i've just come to outside the maison de maitre on the road side Ta -da! and i thought i'd just quickly show you where these two 
shuttered doors come from. So this one comes from here, or one, one of them comes from here, which is a very thin old door that leads into the middle of the Maison de Maitre between the Maison de Maitre and our side of the house. Don't really know how to say that. Uh, this is a room with all of the um, murals on the wall that goes down into the cellar down here. And then whoop, over here on the roadside as well, this is the door that leads into our living room. Uh, trying um, to identify some more of these keys. It doesn't help that a lot of them aren't labelled. And also, they've got things like this, which I think that translates as Chef of the House A Brand or Brand Door which opens under the hanger. Now, I think that might be a key for a neighbour's house that they've been given to let themselves in maybe to feed hens while somebody was away or something like that so there is obviously uh, therefore a chance that not all of these keys belong to this property i've just given it a gentle tap with the hammer now I'll hand this one's off so i think i might be able to open these gates well i've come around the front of the house again um so we've got the gate unlocked so claire We'll be able to open that to help paint it, but uh, as I said, I'm getting trying to get rid of this hedge. I've got one out, which was just a, a little tiddler. Um, working on the next one. Um, this next one is a, a lot bigger, and the size of its roots they are enormous, and they're going. Well, this one went. It's going under here somewhere. Where I've dug and chopped this root out so it's not actually that the the wetness of the soil that's holding me back it's the thickness of these roots these head this hedge has been in here a long time I mean just have a look at the root I don't even know which plant it's coming from but uh, it's as thick as my arm um, uh, yeah so I've got to dig that out so yeah I'm having a fun afternoon at the moment I'm in the shade so it's not too dramatic. That one was tough. Crikey. Slow progress, but progress. That's me done for the day. I'll just show you what I've done. All the way along here. So that's way over half. There's just this bit more to do, but I'm way over halfway now. This evening, it's a very special dinner for the doggies at the table. It's steak tartare. How is it? It's not traditional. Chew. Chew. Chew it. There's no egg on top, sorry. Or spice. Or spice. <laughs> A nice doggy dinner at the table. Merlot, your manners are incredible. Flora, yours need working on. Back in the Maison de Maitre, in between the two houses part with the mural. Um, I've finished the shutter doors that go on the doors out here. However, before I have the shutter doors put back on, I'm just going to spend some time painting and sorting this door. Yeah, I'm just going to give it a really, really good clean to start with. Where it's been behind the shutters, and the shutters haven't been open for years, the paint's actually in really good condition. So yesterday so I was clearing out the bushes from along on that side and this afternoon I'm going to have a go at this side. I did however have a bit of a problem yesterday in that the fork that um, <clears throat> dad gave me from his house in Spain 
Um, let's just say it's seen better days. It got really up to proper work. So we've been out shopping today. And look what I've got. Arr. That is that hedgerow cleared. That needs to clear all of the stuff round so I can get it loaded on the van. Get this one out and have a think what to do about this big bush here because uh, it's not very pretty. It's all, it's all up here and nothing down here so to see if Claire will let me take it out. Well that was just a five minute job. We decided to get rid of that bush. Um, it was all growth up there and nothing really down here so um, we'll put something else there for sure um, and it will make, in the meantime, it will make painting the fence and painting and refurbishing this canopy a lot Probably easier. Canopy. We've shown you this before, if you remember. It's uh, metal and glass, um, but it's quite dirty. It's got lichen on it. It's rusty. Um, we'd like to renovate it. Um, there are a couple of broken panes of glass. Um, so I'm going to go very carefully because we haven't got new glass for it and I think if we try to get new glass it would probably be quite expensive so we're going to try and just clean it with that glass in situ and maybe get some glue to bond that together. So the first thing I'm going to do is acid etch it, acid, sorry not acid etch, acid wash it. Um, There you have it, one clean morning. Good morning, it's gonna be another hot one here. 32 degrees so far today, woohoo. Anyway, we'll all be complaining that it's cold in a couple of months, so I'm just gonna crack on with it really. Uh, last night I did some engraving into a wooden panel to go onto the end of the wash house. And I thought I'll show you what I used. A few years ago, before we left England, I would go to a shop called Aldi, and in the middle aisle, they sell magical things such as tools. And I saw this. Isn't this great? It's kind of like um, a thing called a Dremel multi tool, which would have been lovely, but I refused to pay 80. 80 plus euros for one plus the attachments so this was the good old price of 16.99 and yeah i used the engraving tool last night uh for the wood to go on the end of the wash house and this is what i engraved into the wood b for butcher so I'm going to give this a couple of coats of grey to start with. Back in the in between your room today and I think the door's ready for its third coat. However, I've been up thinking about this a lot of the night and I don't think that I can paint this door without painting this door. Now yes, this door is wooden, but it's not wood. It's just some kind of white wood that's painted to look like wood. I did a little test strip and I think I'm just going to have to do it because otherwise yeah it's just going to do my head in. This week has been definitely a shutter week so one set of shutters that are now ready to go are 
the shutters for along our side of the house on Rue Principal, the ones that my dad Mike made for here. So here we go. The closed product and Ta da! Another set down. Right then, father in law. Time to see if it's worked or not. Finally, time for the last Louvre shutter to go on. Oh, I'm fed up with painting Louvre shutters now. <laughs> How do they look? They look really, really good. Do they, uh, do they shut or? Nearly. Nearly. Well, this one was the original. Yeah. Which does shut. This one. Also shuts. Yay. <laughs> I think we've got them in new career, haven't we? I think we do. Next, well, we've got a couple of doors that we like on the barn there. Yeah, they're only three and a half metres high, Dad. You can definitely do those. Back to my wooden triangle B. I've got some of this um, enamel paint, a small brush, and I'm just about to fill in my B. <laughs> Fill in my bee. <laughs> it sounds so wrong. <laughs> and there we go. After a couple of coats, one finished bee ready to go on the building. Woohoo! So I'm back out the front here of the Maison de Maitre, and obviously we've cleared the bushes away. I have. Um, next job, and I'm going to get on with this before the sun comes round, is to acid wash this fence. Um, so yeah, best crack on because it won't be in the shade for, for long. this will come out on film but there is an instant transformation between the section that I've just scrubbed and the rest of the fence it's taking a bit of time um, you don't really want to watch all me do this it's uh, quite labor intensive I'm doing it scrubbing brush as you can see and bucket of water um, so I'm going to turn this off then I can put some music on and uh, Maybe the time will go quicker that way. Well, I've done it. All the railings along here have now been thoroughly cleaned. So uh, when we paint them, um, that will just refresh them and uh, they're already looking a lot better. So I've still got to do the gates and there's a couple of bits of railing either side of the gates down there, but um, the sun's now over this side. So, um, even though we're now just hitting 39 degrees today. I just want to get this all done. So I've opened the gates. That's the first time I've actually had the gate open since we moved in. Goodness knows when it was last opened, but uh, it's now opened. I've um, just cleaned the bottom panel down here. I've sprayed all the other side and I'm going to go and scrub it now. Um, should only take me an hour, I reckon, to get all of this done. It's hot, but oh, they're looking good. I'm in the shutter shop today and it's 35 degrees inside here. And I do have the fan going, so there is some movement of air. But I'm just having one of those days where I am fed up with being hot. I'm fed up with coming outside and just sweating i'm just melting um i am finally on to the final shutter of the mason de Maitre. the final one for the whole building and i think it's taken me just over a month to do all of the shutters on that building and i'm going to be so happy when i have done it but at the moment it's that hot that I'm just losing the will with shutters today. Um, 
I'm going to crack on and get it done, but yeah, I'm just, yeah, yeah. All of those railings this morning, and I've made a start on the gates this afternoon. Can you tell which one? Look what I put up. You're pointing at the sky. <laughs> You're pointing at the fence. <laughs> you put that up. It's very good, isn't it? It's only slightly wonky. Character. Yeah, we'll call it character. Well done, dear. Well, I have now just finished these gates and the bits of side railings. Um, so that is all the metal work along the front of the house done with the exception of the little railings either side of the steps there which um, I've just sprayed them and I'll give them a, a scrub clean and then that will be that will be that job done um, it's going to be another warm day so I've got up and got on with it before the sun gets too high Oh, here we go. One completed door uh, and one completed pair of door shutters. Ugh. That looks really good, darling. Well done. Thank you. Yay. Well, after it bothering me and finally doing it, I think it turned out quite well. What do you think? I couldn't have done one without doing the other. So it's now gone from a wood coloured door or a wood effect door to a grey door. So it all matches. Yay. It's a wonderful day and it's time for the final shutter reveal on the Maison de Maitre. Here we go. The last two to go on. One, two, three. Wow, look at that. I'm really, really pleased. It's taken just over a month to do all of the shutters on the maze under Matra uh, with a couple of breaks for guests and things, but yeah, I think they look really good. What's your opinion? I agree. I think you've done well. You've put them all back on. <laughs> well, they are heavy. I'll tell you they are heavy. <laughs> Hi. Hi, welcome to Wine, Wine of, of the, the Week. week. Um, we got this week. We got a, a, a bio red wine called uh, mm. Cochon Volant, which is flying pig. Um, it's yeah. There you go. Open it and let's see how it tastes. Fantastic. So, uh, been another busy week. Um, no yeah. friends around this week, unfortunately. Um, so we've had to do all the hard work ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so it's yeah, it's been quite a physical week. My my stigmata are gradually fading. Um, from digging, from digging the uh, from dig <laughs> digging the the bushes out. Um, so yeah, it's it's been been a busy week and. But we got a lot done. It's been hot though, hasn't it? It's been very hot and actually tonight is the last night before we are due thunderstorms. I'm so excited. I really am. I just can't wait for it to cool down just a bit. And yeah. I know I know that in a, a few months' time everyone will be whinging that it's cold and it's winter, but I, I've just had enough of the heat now. <laughs> Likewise. So uh... Yeah. Anyway, if you've um, if you've enjoyed watching and you've not already done so, please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button or hit the like button as well. Yeah, if you've liked it, <laughs> hit the like button. Ooh, hello. Oh, hello. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com. So uh, from a sultry France. remember how much it was or where we got it from but we got this from the, the wine fair mm -hmm. i remember that but i can't remember the price of it mm. 
wouldn't have been, well, it wouldn't have been that much. It wouldn't have been more than a tenner, really, would it? Yeah, no, it wouldn't have been more. Anyway, anyway, thanks for watching. Yes, see you next week. Cheers!